Pimping one's ride might be good enough for the hoi polloi, but when big money looks for a bespoke ride, they turn to coach builders. I mean, who else is going to give your Falcon a luxury ride? At anywhere from $187,600 to $254,800, the SUV from Luxury Badge Bentley might seem exclusive enough, especially when equipped with its exclusive 626 horsepower W12 for the Bentega Speed. With a claimed top speed of 190 miles per hour, a Torre Bugatti's slight on his luxury rival's cars, as the fastest trucks in the world, is a little more appropriate. The Lamborghini Urus and the upcoming Ferrari Pure and Sangue can challenge the Bottega in speed, price, and even exclusivity. But can those Italian exotics help give your Falcon a plush ride to the field? What's the point of having the ride of kings if on the way to the sport of kings, if you have to schlup your Falcon to the field in anything less than total luxury? Don't worry, ladies and gents. Coach builder Moliner has the well-heeled Falconer covered. For if you have to ask, you can't afford it, money, Moliner will deck your SUV out for a relaxing day of sending the fastest creature in the world to end some rodents in a field. A diving peregrine falcon will outpace the SUV that brought it, reaching 200 miles per hour. Once you've taken your fancy SUV out into an appropriate field, just open the rear gate and the Moliner package has you covered. There's a perch for your cute little vicious airborne predator, as well as binoculars and GPS bird tracking unit. For cruising around, there's a custom hood and a movable perch, so your Falcon's talons don't pierce the hot spur hide interior. While the price might not be clear, falconry isn't a sport for penny pinchers. Regular hunting falcons can run from $5,000 to $25,000, and that's after the $500 or so it takes to become a master falconer to own a falcon legally in the first place. Exclusive falcons have outstripped the Bentega in price, with a rare falcon pulling a record $472,500 in Saudi Arabia last September. All this Falcon-related swag is surrounded by the standard opulence available for a Mentega. There is an exhaustive list of materials to choose from. To cover seats, floors, and anything else, buyers can choose four bucket seats in lieu of a second row bench and a collapsible third row that offers its own bottle chilling station. That, of course, assumes you're leaving the driving duties to Jarvis, who could have the W12 engine or a twin-turbo V8 good for 542 horsepower. A Bentley with special accommodations for your Falcon might seem like it comes out of left field, but the concept comes from closer to the stream. Mulliner had already created another special edition for the outdoorsy types, this time the slightly more accessible sport of fly fishing. This was no quickly thrown together bit of kit. They consulted with noted sport fisherman Matt Harris to design this $100,000 custom option. Naturally, it comes with rod holders and a watertight tackle box, adorned with the usual array of saddle leather, chrome, and wood. When it's time to make a fly, Moliner has you covered with a fly making workspace, along with storage designed specifically for anything the stylish fly fisher would require including a station for tea. For those whose luxury outdoor excursions are tamer than fishing or falconry, Moliner offers a three-section picnic hamper full of a Michelin star restaurant collection of serving ware for an extra $28,000. All the porcelain bits like plates and saucers are sourced from French porcelain maker Havilland from their Sublime collection. Alta Robe and Birking provide the silverware, and the cheese knife comes from Somerset Leol. A chrome Flying Bee bottle stopper is also included, so that everyone knows which car brought that bottle. This is all part of a long history of Moliner making luxury cars more luxury, dating all the way back to Mr. Rolls' own Rolls Royce. In 1959, they were bought by Rolls Royce to become the in-house personalization arm of the luxury brand of luxury brands. In 1991, the actual Moliner company finally came to an end, but the name is now used for the personalization of Bentleys. Bentley's former partner brand Rolls-Royce hasn't given up on coach builds, however, building some high-profile rides for high-profile clients while still being as discreet as a powder blue boat tail roaster can be. That $28 million creation is rumored to be made for the hip-hop and pop power duo of Beyonce and Jay-Z. Boat tails date back to the early days of coach building, where cars' rear ends were fashioned to resemble the wooden sport boats and yachts of the time. The one-of-one -one Rolls is blue inside and out, with a removable top, because a retractable top will disrupt the lines of the car. Style is everything. 
the wooden panels that make up the tail cover a bottle chilling station, designed specifically for Jay-Z's Armand de Brignac Champagne, as well as a parasol you can use for shade as you pull out the built-in cocktail bars. This isn't just a hopped up Phantom, but rather a completely unique car, built from the chassis up, down to the carpet fiber folding seats that stow into the back as well. Even the timepiece, made in partnership with a Swiss watchmaker, is custom to the car. Overall, the single example took Rolls Royce four years to build, with only two other boat tails similarly being constructed to admire's exact standards. The Carter's boat tail with hosting features harkens back to classic models like the 1934 Phantom II Continental Drophead Coupe, with its boat tail inspired by America's cup yachts of the time, and a Mulliner creation for the Rolls Royce Phantom VI limousine in 1972 that contained a hosting station of its own, this time with tables that clipped to the front hood and toadstool seats that were attached to the front bumper. Mulliner editions of the Bentega are not the first attempts to take fancy on safari. Perennial inventor Bruce Walden Moore would use the Moore Sea Line Company to build his strange and exclusive creations, including the Moe's Safari Car. Meant to bring luxury to big game hunting, the Safari Car started with an international travel all for the motor and running gear to tackle unpaved terrain. The rest was coach built with obvious nods to Rolls Royce. The outside was covered in vinyl and naga hide to prevent, or at the very least, disguise rust. The real bizarre feature was the doors that slide out parallel to the car on rails in order for the driver and passenger to shoot their game without even getting out of their seats. For the rear passenger that wanted in on the game, the fabric roof would peel back allowing them to stand up and hunt. Only three examples were made with not enough interest to justify more. In 1972, they were offered for $19,600 to $25,600, or around $90,000 in today's money. A restored example made the rounds recently with an asking price of $200,000. No one group would end up going all in on coach building more than the collected Maharaja, the heretical rulers of the 600 principalities that would eventually make up India, Pakistan, and Bangladesh. At the introduction of the Phantom 8, an example with each previous Phantom was chosen with the third being represented by the Star of India, a Rolls Royce built for the Maharaja of Rajat that included, among other luxury touches, a 563 carat sapphire from Sri Lanka. The car is decorated with the crest of Rajat and his Sanskrit motto, the one who fulfills the obligation of the happiness and welfare of his people is their ruler. While the Star of India might be one of the most beautiful products of the ultimately troubled colonial period, the most outrageous and notorious has to be the 1910 Brooke Swan car. The manufacturer alone was its own flex, with Brooke cars listing for more than the Rolls Royces of the time. The car was a brainchild of a wealthy British engineer living in India, Robert Nickel Scotty Mathewson, who went to an unconventional source to build a unique body to his creation, a company that made fairground rides. The result is a swan body with carved in feathers with vents to feed the radiator fresh air. Indian silk and gold leaf covered the vehicle. It also included a keyboard that operated the car's custom horn. And yet, that's not the peak of the car's bizarre features. The beak would also open and release steam, and for that last little custom touch, with the push of a button, it would leave behind a little bit of artificial swan poop. Yup. The post-war period saw coach builds give way to opulent factory options which may have peaked with the 1957-58 Cadillac Eldorado Brougham. The Brougham came with a $3,000 premium over the Rolls Royce at the time, selling for $13,074. Yeah, you gotta have that 74 bucks. An equivalent today of $119,370. For all that Mad Men money, you also got a suite of luxury touches. A four tumbler cocktail set could be set on the magnetic glove box along with a tissue dispenser and cigarette case. It also featured a complete beauty station for the wife or mistress. We're not here to judge. Every broom also had a perfume atomizer with an ounce of Arpege Extrait de Levant perfume. It was the first car available with a self-leveling air ride suspension, so the car would literally travel on a cushion of air. Custom touches have only gotten more elaborate in the modern age. Rolls Royces can come with a feature that hides an umbrella inside the door of the car. Aston Martin will sell you a $30,000 Jaeger LaCotra watch that has the AM VOX2 transponder installed that allows owners to lock, unlock, and start their $330,000 Aston Martin DBS. 
Bentley offers a rotating dash that allows the driver to switch between analog gauges and wood finishes to digital controls and displays. That James Bond style upgrade comes at a seemingly modest price of just over $6,000. For $12,000, Rolls Royce will add the Starlight roof option that connects 1,340 fiber optic cables through the leather roof to provide a twinkling star filled sky inside the car. The process of making it by hand takes 14 hours. For a reasonable, by comparison, $400, the Mercedes S-Class can be fitted with the air balance package that allows you to escape that boring new car smell and instead contains three mood-inducing scents with controls for intensity. The next step would be to have your bespoke boat tail luxury ride actually drive onto your yacht and become the pilot house. I mean, if you're spending six figures on your car and millions on your yacht, why have them separate?